Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I'm building one of the Lego Elf sets from my stash. Oh, they haven't released any new Lego Elf sets this year so far, so I'm kind of hoarding the ones that I still have to build. This one's a Zari and the Goblin Forest Escape. And this is the one with the golden Pegasus, or the fire Pegasus in it. She's so beautiful, or is he a he? I think he might be a he. And it's got, look, look, see? so beautiful it's just it's 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 got a chariot as well and it's got azari so azari's boots here and her cool little skirt are so useful for lots of different dress up ideas she's got a halter neck top on the colors that azari wears are just so pretty they just go so beautifully together and just Every time I build a Lego L set, I get really, really sad because there's a good chance we're not going to see any new ones. This set comes from a couple of seasons ago when Sophie Jones, Emily's little sister, was captured. So that's why we've got that particular little piece of piece of uh, piece of map there. Was it a map or is it instructions? I'm not sure. But we've also got a goblin, which I don't actually have yet. He's obviously the gardener for these snapping man-eating plants. He's such a pretty shade of blue. And he's got the instruction-y thing for a grow potion of some description. Here it is. His name is Guxlin. Guxlin. That just is so hard to say. Guxlin. Excellent. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> anyway, perhaps I should concentrate on the building. So we've got a little green patch here with a bit of stone in the middle and who knows, we're going to have to find out what's going on here by building some more. And this is going to be, I reckon it's going to be a weapon of some description, some sort of creative weapon. Look at that red foliage. I don't think I have any red plants. Oh, that's exciting. Well, look at that. Okay, so this tips backwards. Oh, and here are some of those little noxious plants, like the man-eating plants, but in teeny tiny ball form. And here's one that's just a sprout. So he's got the liquid to grow these nasty plants, which are also cool and hilarious. And we are going to be building a couple of the chompy versions, the growing up versions, because he's been feeding them up for some purpose, obviously. Do we use them as a weapon? That would be their purpose, or as a capturing tool, <laughs> even when they're not being used as that. They're hilarious, like the like giant Venus flytraps, but for elves. <laughs> and we've got another one completely matching to the first one. So we'll do this one a little bit faster. Zoom it along. Num 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 num. And these go on our little claws up here. So one's down here, and this one's up a little bit higher on this flippy backy bit. That's going to have something to do with something goes on here. So we're going to utilize this now. See if it actually likes eating goblins. It might not like the taste of goblins, but it's quite happy to hold on to Guxlin. There's that name again, Guxlin. Keep him out of trouble while we build the coolest chariot ever. Like a fire chariot for the elves. This is why I'm so sad about the fact that we're not seeing any new elf sets is they're very, very clever designs. They're also a fantasy theme, which I love. And they use technique parts and they have moving parts and they're just, they're just really interesting to build. They are more complex than the friend sets and they're definitely more complex than the Disney princess ones. And they teach you new building techniques. And like I said, at the end, you've got this fantastic fantasy themed build that you can play with. Okay, I'm very sad and I need to stop rambling now, but I'll just enjoy our build. So, so far we have got, well, part of the, part of the chariot organized and some smooth pieces here. We'll put the little fire emblem here on the front for Azari and some red pieces underneath. So this actually goes in here. It's a slidey piece. So this is going to be a moving part. Why does this chariot need a moving part? Well, I don't know. We're going to have to build more to find out. And we've got these pink archways with clips on the inside. This is so curious. So I said, such interesting building techniques. And this nice big orange piece here to put it on there. Except I have forgotten these parts. And they're going to help hold it on. Uh, I've put the wrong piece on there. There we go. I need to pay attention to what I'm building instead of just being sad. I should just enjoy it. I need to enjoy, live in the moment and enjoy this cool, cool build because it's really interesting. So technique part here means that we are very possibly, well, we already know we have got a moving object down here with that flat bit. So we're going to have to see what these technique parts add 
to the chariot, to the front of the chariot, to the back of the chariot, to, I think, the back of the chariot, because I think this goes on here. Uh, that's a nice storage place. And there's even a carrot for Firebolt. Do Pegasus, do Pegasi even like carrots? Of course they do. They must do. They have a horse heritage. Of course they're going to like carrots. This is pretty. Look at that. It's like a Firebolt flamey thing, which is uh, pink and orange. I've put that on wrong. Yeah, that's totally wrong. So that needs to go on like that, but that doesn't fit. So I've done something wrong. Let me have a quick look. Okay, all right, so this blue piece needs the long piece up and that through there, and there we go. So I had missed off the tube, and now it's in the right place, and look at that! That's what happens when we pull that out. Oh, that moves! And now we need a mirror image of that on the other side, and you need to pay attention to which way all these Technic pieces go, as I just proved, otherwise it doesn't work properly. That is so cool. We've got these little orange pieces on the top just to smooth it over. And Azari's in there. And it looks like it could even fly, except it gets these really cool wheels. We're not quite up to the wheels yet. We have to put this flaming bit on the front. Now we get the wheels. Now, we generally see these wheels in the Disney Princess builds. They go so perfectly with a fantasy theme. And look at those flames flying up the back of the chariot. Here's Firebolt. We are up to Firebolt with his most beautiful markings. And he attaches here, and it just all fits so perfectly. I love Lego. And we have got the prettiest saddle for him, though he can't be ridden. But this little gold contoured piece here, or these couple of contoured pieces, make the most beautiful saddle. Isn't that cool? Now, he has got hinges out the side. No, hooks out the side so that he can have his Pegasus wings attached. So he could just be a beautiful orange horse if he wanted, or he can also be a Pegasus. Why would you make him a horse when he could be a Pegasus? That's just ridiculous. So we've got the chariot. Uh, Zari needs some form of... Uh, put that in the wrong way too. Okay, we'll pull that apart and we'll put it in the correct way. So she's got a little pellet shooter here, so she can help, she can fire some flame out at that nasty little Guxlin and all of his chompy chompy plans. So she can fly up in the air and she can use her flames to try and set these plants on fire. It's not really working. It's supposed to be able to tip over the, <laughs> tip the whole thing over. Oh, all right, well it did work to tip that over. So this chariot is, it's worthy of any Greek god. Now hold on, why would we give this to a god when we could give it to Freya, the Norse goddess, her chariot is actually driven by cats. <gasps> we should adapt this so it could be for Freya. That's so awesome. <laughs> I've got so many ideas. Okay, we have come to the time of the video where I remind you to subscribe if you haven't already. Do give the video a thumbs up. That way I get an indication that you might have actually liked it. And I'll see you with a new one very, very soon. Bye!